My name is John Mioli. Welcome to another edition of the Ravens Draft Report. Our second mock draft is coming out on Tuesday, April 7th. Uh, not a lot of changes, especially as local fans would be concerned with the Ravens, but I figured I'd go over a little overview of where everyone else is going. Like a lot of mock drafts, we have Jameis Winston, the quarterback from Florida State, going first overall to Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay's made a lot of noise about how much they like him, which is usually a sign that they're not going to take him, but at this point we don't have much else to go on. Uh, I don't have Oregon quarterback Marcus Mariota getting past number five. Uh, the Washington Redskins currently have that pick, but it seems like with the Jets picking at number six, someone who really wants Mariota will have to trade with the Redskins to get up there to number five if the Redskins don't take them himself. As far as the Ravens are concerned, owner Steve Bishotti said that a cornerback was going to be a priority in the first round of the draft on a conference call with season ticket holders last week. Obviously, it's going to be Ozzie Newsom's choice. Steve Bishotti obviously will certainly have a say, but I think that Knowing that, we stuck with our pick of Ronald Darby, the cornerback from Florida State for the Ravens. Other positional groups that they could look at include the pass rusher position, knowing that Pernell McPhee is gone, they need a little depth there. Uh, some of the first round pass rushers include Shane Ray from the University of Missouri, Bud Dupree from University of Kentucky, Randy Gregory from Nebraska, and Vic Beasley from Clemson. One of those might fall to the Ravens. It seems like Ray and Dupree might have higher pedigrees than that, so they might go a little higher in the draft. but. The Ravens will easily love to pop any one of those guys if they fall to number 26. Another position group that the Ravens and their fan base would love to see them target is the wide receiver position. Uh, at the top of the draft, it looks like Kevin White from West Virginia and Amari Cooper from Alabama are going to be top 10 picks. They won't be around for the Ravens. And I bet Devontae Parker from Louisville probably is off the board as well. But then once you get into that second tier, Ohio State's uh, Devin Smith. You have Rashad Perriman from Central Florida. You have Jalen Strong from Arizona State. If the Ravens have a high grade on any one of those guys, I could easily see one of them falling to 26 as well. Check back next week for another Ravens draft report.